Hi, I'm Marek Mularczyk and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop, Lightroom and photography and bridge as well. In this video, I want to share with you some information about uh, making selections and making selections with one click. Is this possible? We've never had this before in Photoshop. Would you be able to select this object with one single click? Now in the past, so I worked on this image in here. Not really. Well, I could use a magnetic lasso tool in here, a magic wand tool in here, and I could increase the tolerance quite high and try to click somewhere here. Well, it's quite okay, but it doesn't make a selection with a single click. That wasn't possible before. However, now Photoshop CC 2018, and one of the updates, this actually came in the latest update. Adobe built this Adobe Sensei technology into Photoshop where you can create selections with single click. So let's see how we can do that here. Let's say you want to select this flower in here, or sunflower. <laughs> what you can do now is you can just go to select menu and choose subject. And Adobe Sensei technology will inspect the image, check what's in the image, and will select the object in the image for you. So it's looking at the image, comparing the pixels, and it should be able to select this sunflower with one click. And it's done a very good selection because if you look at it, it's also selected the areas that are out of focus, not just the in focus areas. Yes, it may not be perfect, so you may want to tweak it a little bit, but I think it's good for, it's good for enough for now. So say if I do lay a new layer via copy and hide the background, it's actually not too bad. Okay, it's a good start. But remember, it's just a single click. Or say this example here, if I, go, if I just zoom out okay, and go select subject, it probably won't select the people because the black, like the background around, but it should select this moon and the tree. Here you go. This is, this is impressive. Okay. We could also adjust the selection, so say I could use the pen tool and trace around this section here of the pen tool and turn into selection. But this is a good start. Okay. On something like that. Now here's another way of doing it. Also, if you have multiple objects, like here we have two caps. Would it select both of them or just one? So let's give it a try. Select subject. It is going to select <coughs> any objects that are subjects in the image. This would also apply to having multiple people in the image. Selected both caps. And I guess at this stage. I could just use a quick selection tool and I want to subtract this area so I'm holding the alt key down and subtracting oops uh, so I want to subtract here maybe a bit smaller my cursor and I could just subtract it here click and add to selection this section here so click 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 and this needs to be subtracted and it's really, really good. It's a good selection. Now here's another way you can do it. So if I go to another image, this book image here, for example. Now let's say I want to select it, but we'll see what Photoshop can do as well. But another way you can do it is when you're on magic wand, magnetic glass, uh, when you're quick selection tool, <laughs> excuse me, you got to select subject button here as well. You also have that when you're on magic wand tool. Okay, select subject. But not on lasso tools, no, didn't have that, no, just these two. So I select one of these tools and make a selection. What it means what we can do here is we can just have one of these tools selected here, like the quick selection tool or magic wand tool, and we can just go to subject selection and just zoom out again because I zoomed in. So I can just click sub subject, select subject in here and see what Photoshop can do this time. We we'll probably won't do a perfect selection because there's lots of browns in this image. It's quite a difficult image to work with. But hey, it's just a single click and it's actually not too bad. What we could do is just use quick selection tool and add to selection mode and just add some to selection here, just ever so slightly, keeping the cursor inside the book. This should be selected as well. 
don't want to spend too much time on it in here because our main topic here is the select subject. So if I just um, subtract from the selection. But then remember, what you can also do is you can go to select and mask in here and make some more work on this image in here. So I could take a view on layers. Onion skin would be the default, but I will leave it as on layers in here. Good. And we can smooth the edges of our selection. Maybe add a bit more contrast as well. Maybe a bit more contrasty. And we can use the refine an edge tool in here and refine the edges. So I could paint over here to refine them a little bit. Or even use one of these selection tools. This is not good. So I'm going to undo Control Z or Command Z. We can use a lasso tool or polygon lasso tool. So say I could use a lasso tool, actually even polygonal in here. And we want to subtract from a selection. I want to subtract this area. Say maybe this. And back here to subtract it. And you can do the same for the rest of the image. I won't be wasting your time in here, but you can do like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. This is the new single click selection in Photoshop CC 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk and thank you for watching. Hopefully you see again another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now. Thank <music> you.